Hello, this is Maria Rodriguez reporting for the Runner Online. We are here at Cal State University of Bakersfield covering the Nexus Senior Exhibition, where the seniors get to showcase their artwork and their imaginations come to life. Hi, today we're here with... Mariela Gallardo. Mariela, what is the name of your artwork and what was the concept and what does it symbolize? Um, it's called Ayotzinapa Somos Todos and in, in English is We Are All Ayotzinapa. And this is about, it's a memorial to the 43 missing students that were kidnapped and killed in Mexico last year. What made you inspired to do this? Um, I, I'm from Mexico and I visit um, every year, like twice, twice a year. So I know what's going on and all the violence and injustice, so. How long did it take you to do this? Um, for about two months. What message do you hope people can get from seeing your artwork? Um, I just, I want them to feel like all the sadness and injustice that is going on over there. Are you proud of your artwork? Yes, I love it. Yeah. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Hi, today with Perla Diaz. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm good, how are you? Good too. <laughs> can you tell me the name of your artwork? Um, the piece is called Weathering Life's Storm. And what does it represent? Um, it's about my mother, and um, she recently had a brain tumor removed, so she had two brain surgeries. And it's basically like a before and after of how she was when she was young, and then how she was right after both of her surgeries. So basically your mom was inspiration for your yes. senior artwork? Yeah, she was. What did she say when she saw it, when she knew it was about her? She she likes that one. She likes that one for sure. She's like, oh, I look so pretty. I was so young there. But then she looks at this one. She's like, oh, I look terrible. She... Well, let me tell you, they both, they're <laughs> both really awesome. So you have to be proud of your artwork. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. And I really enjoyed your artwork. Congratulations. Hi, today we're with Berenice Enriquez. How are you? Very good. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you. So can you tell us a little bit about your artwork? I can tell it's really big and it took a lot of time to do. So what's the name of your artwork? The name of my artwork is uh, Mexico Despierta, which means um, wake up Mexico. Well, in Mexico right now, there's been a lot of corruption, drugs, and debt. And well, I can, I can relate to this because I was living in Mexico for a long time and most of my family have been kidnapped, disappeared, or killed because of the drug cartels. And mostly, I wanted to, to make people aware of what's going on right now in Mexico, but not only in Mexico. Um, this can be related to, to the entire world. It resonates with me as well because I too was born in Mexico. So daily, about how many, how many hours did you dedicate to your artwork? Well, I think it took me more than five hours because of the process of screen printing. It, it takes time to do screen printing. Are you proud of your artwork? Because it's really beautiful. I am. I'm really proud of it. You should be. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Hi, today we're here with Luke Moy. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Great. So I'm looking at your artwork. This is amazing. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit more about it? The name of your artwork? Uh, it's Untitled. It's Untitled? Yes, the painting is Untitled. Why is it Untitled? Because uh, I don't want to put like a name into the viewer's head before they see the work. So uh, I'd rather you approach it without any like before thoughts. Well, I've got to say, I was pretty shocked. Like, I don't need, wow, wow. Oh, thank you. Um, so what was your inspiration? Uh, I was inspired by um, altar pieces. So the uh, idea of having like a visual for uh, people in like a church service, you know, back in the day. And um, so that the shape of the canvas is inspired by like a Gothic arch and um, the pelican is like an old Catholic symbol for Christ mm -hmm. because they would like pierce themselves and feed their blood to their chicks if like food's not available. So it's like a really old symbol, but it's a really cool uh, way to represent the crucifixion. That is awesome. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you for joining us today at the Nexus Senior Exhibition. I'm Maria Rodriguez reporting for The Runner Online.